Tonight on Nightline, Katherine Jackson speaks. An ABC News exclusive, Michael Jackson's mother speaks out for the first time since granddaughter Paris tweeted she was missing. I'm fine, and I'm here with my children. As a bitter custody battle over Michael's kids plays out in court. This is Nightline, July 25th, 2012. Good evening, I'm Terry Moran. The king of pop may be gone, but the turmoil and drama in Michael Jackson's family continues. And tonight, his mother, Katherine Jackson, is speaking out in an ABC News exclusive. After conflicting reports over her whereabouts in the last week sparked public family feuds, including a battle that played out in court today over custody of Michael's three children, Paris, Prince, and Blanket, Katherine Jackson is now coming forward to break her silence. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. Hello, I'm Katherine Jackson. And with those words, her first public words in 10 days, the Jackson clan matriarch surrounded by her children, Jermaine, Janet and Reby, Reby's daughter, and the marketing director of the resort where she's staying, Katherine gave her side of this explosive story. There are rumors going around about me that I've been kidnapped and held against my will. I'm here today to let everybody know that I'm, very, I'm fine and I'm here with my children and my children would never do a thing like that, hold me against my will. It's very stupid for people to think that. Late Saturday night, Catherine's nephew Trent reported her missing from the Jackson compound in Calabasas. Paris tweeted Sunday morning, My grandmother is missing. I haven't spoken with her in a week. I want her home now. An ABC reporter at the reading of this statement was not allowed to ask questions. And now the people are saying that they're there with, uh, with nothing to eat, or in the, and I'm sure they have something to eat, but it's not healthy because the cook is not there. One reason why I haven't called, because I just gave up my phone. I didn't want to hear, have any phone calls. And while I was here, uh, my assistant, Janice J Smith, had been calling back home, see how things have been going. And uh, she had been keeping in contact with my nephew, I mean my grandson. <laughs> And, um, and he says everything was going fine. But um, I'm still, I was still thinking about the children and I still worry about them, but they're fine. Here, by the way, is the Miraval Resort in Tucson, Arizona. Jermaine has explained she's there on doctor's orders. She's an 82-year-old woman. She's emotional. She was reading from a prepared script and she needed some help from time to time. Michael Jackson's will names Catherine as the guardian of his children, but today in a Los Angeles courtroom, temporary custody of Prince Paris and Blanket was handed over to their cousin, Tito's son, 34-year-old TJ Jackson. I'm devastated that while I've been away, that my children, my grandchildren have been taken away from me. In court, the judge said he was granting TJ temporary custody because Catherine is, quote, being prevented from acting as guardian by acts of a third party. Catherine's own lawyer on custody matters suggested she was being held against her will. This right here. TJ's lawyer told us the two older kids signed a consent form. And a number of Michael Jackson's siblings are still contesting his will, alleging conspiracy and fraud, charges denied by the executors and thrown out by the courts two years ago. The ruling in court today was about the guardianship, and I think it was based on a bunch of lies. But I have a good idea who's doing that, who's behind it. My guardianship have been taken away from me. And, um, but I have spoke to my grandson, TJ, and, and also I spoke to Prince and Paris last night and told them I would be home today. And um, they're waiting for me to come. In court today, TJ described that call as, quote, strange. He said, quote, the way it sounded, I never heard her talk like that. Some words sounded slurred. And I told him it wasn't necessary for him to um, go down and sign up for guardianship, but I don't know who instructed him to do that, but that's what, uh, because he wanted me to come home before that happened. Randy just tweeted that last night on the phone, Catherine fired her nephew Trent and the rest of the security team at the house. And I never leave home without leaving um, instructions of who to stay there with them, the nanny and all of them. and. Um, Someone had let go the cook, the nanny, and also the housekeepers. I don't know who did that. They don't have that power, and they shouldn't have done it. Today, Catherine spoke with her grandkids. And told them I would be home today, and um, they're waiting for me to come. 
Okay, this is all I have to say, and I'm going to say goodbye, and I'm on my way home. This morning, Paris tweeted one of her dad's lyrics, the song, Will You Be There? Everyone's taking control of me. It seems the world's got a role for me. I'm so confused. Will you show to me you'll be there for me? I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Los Angeles. Here we go.